Last night at the Stardew Valley Orchestra, I met the creator of Stardew Valley Concerned Ape. Yes, that is not a joke, I really did. So I wanted to walk through with you guys, brief explanation of what I thought of the Stardew Valley Orchestra leading up to at the end of the night when I met Eric Barone himself. If you guys don't know, the Stardew Valley Orchestra, uh, it's basically just like a tour of all of the best Stardew Valley songs done by an orchestra, officially licensed by Concerned Ape, it's all like through him, so it's like, you know, it's not just like some thing, it's like an actual real concert recapping all of Stardew Valley's best hits. So, back when the tickets went on sale, back in, what was this, November, I think? I was like, I'm gonna go. So I woke up early, I had me on my computer, I had Tuesday on her computer, because I really wanted to go no matter what, right? Because the other thing about this event, a really big reason I wanted to go, was because I know where Concerned Ape lives. Not, not, not like that, like, not, <laughs> sorry, wait, that sounded, that sounded really weird. Okay, wait, sorry, sorry. I, I know that, no, stop, okay, I, I know, guys, I know, um, I meant, like, I know the general area in which he lives, like, I know he lives in the, like, the north, uh, western areas, guys, stop, it's not like that, it's not like that, um, I know he lives in the northwestern area, and this was also the first show of the tour, so I was like, if Concerned Ape is gonna show up to any of these, there's a really good likelihood that he could show up to this one now of course i wasn't counting on it i was like you know i was like that hopeful thing in like the back of your head but i wasn't like okay i'm going because of this i also just wanted to go because i knew it was gonna be a great event you know stardew valley is really important to me i thought it'd be really cool so anyway <clears throat> i wake up the, the uh tickets sell out within like a minute 30 seconds and i was so grateful i got like base not basic like i think i was like four rows back from the front which was awesome i got me and tuesday tickets and you know all this time i'm like will i meet eric barone himself now when i say meet in that context i mean like maybe he'll be on stage and i will see him with mine own eyes you know this is like a this is like a big deal you know what i mean but i was i was hyping it up to myself right so we get to the day of being yesterday night saturday night february 17th and i'm beyond psyched she sounds like a teenage girl with a huge crush i mean this is like this is the only i mean he's the only reason i can do any of this you know what i mean he's the only reason we're all here today you know what i mean it'd be like if you were a christian you're like oh jesus is playing at you know an orchestra 10 minutes away from your house and you're like oh okay well i'm not gonna go you know i guess i'll just sit this one out well no i was gonna go you know so we show up to the event me and tuesday that had a very cute uh like scenery it was pretty quaint so we get there we're all ready we're going in i'm really excited da -da -da -da. tuesday looks great so we're going in before even anything happens we're walking out from taking this photo that i'm showing you right here this exact photo tuesday sees a woman with long red hair walking in front of us right she goes oh my god i think that's list the last of you know of of youtube acclaim whom I have never met in person. And famously, I pulled a little stunt on her where I um, pranked her. I, I call it a prank, but not the comment section on my second channel. Do not call it that. Because apparently to them, I'm rude. I am horrible. Basically, Liz asked me for some advice and I, I gave her advice that was not great. She said, what's the best plant to crop? What's the best crop to plant? I should say, I said artichokes. She planted a bunch of artichokes, kind of like bunked over a whole run. She made some slime hutches, this, that, and the other thing. Anyway, I go up, I say hi. I was nervous. I was like, what if she like decks me on sight? You know what I mean? What if she like is like just was being, you know, when she said that she didn't care. Mate, what if she was just being nice? You know, what if she was just trying to not start beef? But we go up. She was actually very kind and we had a great conversation. Look, photo proof. We got a photo together. It was great. We ended up... um spend some time with her uh, after this whole thing went on. But it was great. It was great catching up with her um, and seeing somebody else I knew. Uh, so then we get into the theater. Theater was here. I have this little video of what the theater looked like. So I'm going to mute it. But this is the theater before everything got set up. Um, I was feeling very hyped, very ready. I also knew that this event was going to be an hour and 45 minutes. I was like, that's Tuesday. Uh, <laughs> I was like, I also know this event is going to be an hour and 45 minutes. I'm kind of curious how they're going to fill an hour and 45 minutes. You know what I mean? How many Stardew Valley songs are there really? Though I did talk to, somebody asked me for a photo during the intermission. And then they, they said, I'm sitting behind Matthew Mercer. 
I was like, what? That's a crazy pull. He's like, yeah, I got a good seat. I was like, dang. Irregardless of all that, great venues. We had great seats. Like I said, we were like very much up in the in the uh, front rows. You know, I, I had to be for this event, you know? It, the theater was completely sold out. It was crazy. I've never seen so many Stardew Valley fans in one place at once. So we sit down, we're ready for the show. The show, for all those who are gonna attend, I'm going to talk about it now. So if you don't want it spoiled for you, then just leave because I'm gonna talk about the whole show now. I mean, this is not really spoilers. It's an, it's an orchestra, man. So the orchestra comes out and you know, the guy's like, we're really excited to do this for you, the conductor. Da, 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 da. He's like, we're going to take you through a year of Stardew Valley. Uh, now, I was actually kind of worried about the music because as everybody here knows, uh, Stardew Valley, all of Stardew Valley's soundtrack is made completely digitally. So I was like, I wonder how this is going to translate to probably like 20 musicians or so. Like, what is this going to sound like? Like, I don't know if it's going to even sound good at all. You know, like not like I was doubtful. I was just like, what the heck? Like, what the? I guess that is doubt. Like, but I wasn't like scornful, I should say. Um, So they're like, OK, we're going to start with spring. And he, they go into it and they played um I, I, I don't remember what it's called and it was really well done pretty much all of the melody stuff they replaced with like flute parts and that was really good i thought it was really well done everything translated really good uh wild horseradish jam was probably my favorite part of spring that's the one that's like Oh, they did start with the theme song. You know what? I missed that. No, they started with the theme song. They started with Cloud Country, um, where they were like, doom, 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 like on the, do, 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 do. that was really good. That was like one of the best compositions, I thought. And honestly, I was like, when I was sitting there, I was like, for a second, just for a second, guys, I had an amazing time. I was super grateful. I was like, bro, this sounds exactly like the music I've listened to like 10,000 times. Why am I even here? Like. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the music the orchestration is so good this just sounds like exactly like every other time i've heard it <laughs> which i think should be like a compliment but i was just like bro what am i doing so anyway they, they go through those first two songs they were it was all great i think spring are the songs where people know them the most i would say Sprout your brain up too deep. Um, then they moved on to summer. They did, if you guys don't know, every season has three songs. They did the three summer songs, and then they did, what did they do for summer? Oh, I think they played some songs from around Pelican Town. And that they played the three summer songs, they played some like Pelican Town songs, like a, I don't even know what you call it. Like the, the one when you're in like town, I don't know. Oh, I, I, I'm I getting ahead of myself because before they got into summer, right? Once the show had started, I was like, damn, like they just played through cloud country and three spring songs like i'm accepting now that concerned ape is actually not here you know that actually it you know I, like i said i was not trying to get my hopes up but it did definitely disappoint me i definitely was a little disappointed i was you know hoping to see him but i was like you know if he was gonna come out he's gonna come out before the first song you know and just say oh hey you know welcome to the show da 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 so i was like sitting there i was like all right you know i mean this this goes hard da -da 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 -da. I'm like, I'm still vibing out, but I'm like, conductor walks out, right? Or a conductor turns around, I should say, after spring. He goes, and today, also, when the orchestra came out for background, the or when the orchestra and the conductor came out, everyone was like, you know, giving very polite claps, right? Conductor's like, I hope you guys all enjoyed that journey through spring. And I think there's someone else who's going to enjoy it a little more. Literally, dude said it like Nintendo Direct, Reggie fils is about to say that the purple Pikmin is in Smash, right? I'm like, what? Everyone's like, huh? Fucking boom, door walks open, Concerned Ape walks out. I'm like, what the? F I like screamed. I was like, what the hell? It was crazy, lights down, people are screeching. It, the theater turns to straight pandemonium. People are stand giving standing ovations. Mother f hasn't even done anything. He just came out and people are freaking losing their minds. I stood up. Like I said, it's like Jesus just walked in. We all like were repenting. It was crazy. Bro walks in. I'm going to do something right now. Watch this. Incognito tab. I'm going to Google Concerned Ape, right? He was wearing this exact fit. <laughs> this, like egg exactly. I literally turned to Tuesday. I'm like, bro knows what he likes because she doesn't know i'm like i have never seen him photographed in not this outfit look at how many photos are online of him he's here he is he's he's wearing it here he's wearing it here he always 
wears this jacket. I, I, I was like, I can't believe he's actually just, he rolled up in that exact fit. He's got a uniform, yeah. So he walks in and he's like, whoa, hey everybody. I, to my impression of Concerned Ape is that he's like kind of like an introverted guy was sort of my impression. And that was kind of reaffirmed by this where he was like, he was like trying really hard to put on a big show, but like everyone's like, wait, I'm gonna get myself so you can see my blood splatter. Like people are going crazy. He he was kept it very short and sh and sweet. He goes, oh yeah, wait. Also, Tuesday had took a photo of him on stage. Where is that? There he is on stage, the one, the only. The, and that's my view of him. Anyway, people are losing it. He says one thing. He goes, I always wanted to be a composer when a kid i always wanted to be a musician and now you know i finally have this orchestra is orchestrating my work i guess all i had to do was create an entire game around that music people lost their minds this was like it was like people had never laughed before in their life it was like you know the scene in the giver where it's like he f gets injected with the memory of like sledding and he like balls crying he's like well i can't believe this emotion existed that's what it was like but for laughing like people were like i didn't even know you could laugh this hard uproarious okay bro bounces okay he's like all right i'll see you later so then they get into summer they do summer was really good like i said all the instrumentation was was really well done um personally i don't think this is gonna be everyone's experience i could tell the pianist like messed up a couple times which i thought was kind of funny because he was like this old dude and i was like bro never played stardew valley bro doesn't even know what junimo card is <laughs> so anyway they're playing the songs and then they, they think they do the bunch of songs from around pelican town if i recall correctly i might be getting the order wrong but they dev i'm pretty sure that's what they did right at the end of summer they play all the summer songs they play a couple of the pelican town songs they end off with you already no, they ended with the dance of the moonlight jellies and I was I was fighting back tears man It was it was beautiful. It was so Amazing it was it was fantastic. They made it this like whole thing They actually played like the extended mix because the actual songs only like 15 seconds or something It was really good. In fact, we all actually got these um little I'm gonna do this to not spoil the ending of this story But we all got these little like pamphlets that had the whole mu sheet music on it That that was probably the highlight of the whole thing. I forgot about the jellies. It was really really good That was probably my I mean, that's like probably one of my favorite all-time all Stardew Valley songs. It was really good Uh, did CA <laughs> sing the mermaid song? I wish <laughs> I did not cry during this song, but I got I got very misty-eyed Irregardless of that. It was amazing. It was incredible. It was funny people would like laugh a lot like not during dance of the moonlight jellies but like during the pieces they'd be like just guffawing when funny stuff would happen like they would have like the violinists start going like dun, da, dun, da, dun, da, dun, da, dun, da, dun, and people would just be like guffawing it was pretty funny then there's a short intermission we got up i thought it was really strange inside the women's restroom i didn't go in there like someone told me they just had, like a giant painting of shoes i was like i thought that was like strange <laughs> like like, it felt like weird subliminal advertising. Then we got up. Um, I actually met a couple more more of you guys. Maybe you, people I took photos with or even watching this video. Uh, and everybody I met was very, very nice and very, very kind. Uh, we sit back down. We get our butts back in the seats. And they're like, all right, now we're going to get into autumn, right? They're going to get into autumn. And my personal favorite, for context, uh, Stardew Valley song is the Fector's theme, I believe. The one that's like bun dun 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 bum 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 ba dun dun No no not that one. This is my all time favorite Stardew Valley song, personally. Okay, that one. You guys know the one. So I was like, I really hope they play that song. They do Autumn, and then he's like, and after Autumn, you know, you might want to be stepping inside the arcade. I'm like, yes. And actually, the, the fall songs are good. It's kind of weird because it's supposed to be like background music. Like, I kept saying the comparison. Like, it's not like, like this. If, you, if I went to a Sonic the Hedgehog, you know, concert, I'm going to be stand up. What? Follow me. Set me free. Like, this was not like that. You know what I mean? 
Like this was just like, everyone was like, like hanging out, whatever. So I think the, actually the journey of the Prairie King was my entire, was my favorite part of the entire thing because they got really creative with the uh, arrangement. It was very like, um, like they made it very bombastic. You know what I mean? I think because it was supposed to be like an arcade game. They have like a little bit of, you know, freedom with that. So yeah, that was really, really well done. They did play a uh, final boss and ending. During the ending song, I turned over to Tuesday, I leaned over to Tuesday and I went, I went, I guarantee you 90% of the people in this theater have never even heard this song. Because <laughs> you all are terrible at Journey of the Prairie King. And I thought it was a great joke. She didn't laugh, but I did. Uh, irregardless of that, it was a great time. They got through that and then they played a bunch of songs from the saloon. They played like uh, the saloon theme and uh, I think the Adventurers Guild theme was in there at some point. Then they get into winter. Winter was great. And we're, we're at an hour and a half now. They're, they're ending it off hour 45 minutes or so because uh, the show is an hour 45 minutes, I should say. So they play some of the winter themes and then they're like, all right, we're going to play some villager themes. Some, you know, because every and uh, all of the bachelor NPCs have their own exclusive themes. And this is where I was really hoping to get into my second favorite Sturdy Valley song, Pasta Primavera Mix. Um, but they did not play that song. Spoilers for the end of the show. So they played three Villager themes after the winter themes, which were very beautiful. They were very emotional. Also though, in this all, I'm like, oh, the show's about to end, but they already played Dance in the Moonlight Jellies. What are they gonna end this show on? Dance in the Moonlight Jellies, that's what plays at the goddamn summit, man. You know, like that's the song of the game to me. So they play uh, three villager themes. Abigail's, which I immediately recognized. Haley's, which actually is no longer Haley's theme because Haley's theme actually just plays in any funny scene in the game now. And the last one I did not recognize, apparently it was Penny's theme. Never, never heard what she, that shit sound like. I had no, no need to get involved with Penny for me, even though she was the first person I ever romanced in Stardew Valley, irregardless. So then they're getting to the thing. I'm like, I wonder how they're going to end it. This was the weirdest part of the whole show for me. He goes like, oh, also when he was, the, when the conductor, when he was uh, introducing all the villager themes, He's like, we all have our certain favorite villagers out there. Yeah, I swear to God, he says, except Pierre. Oh my God, you would not believe the laugh. Everyone was like, yes, yes, we hate that guy. Yes, everyone was going crazy. Bro said one reference and everyone was like, yes, yes. I couldn't believe how universal it was. Everyone was like, damn. Screw that man. I was screeching too. Conductor kind of killed it with that joke, kind of cooked with that joke. All right, so then they're ending the show and they go, as we near the end of the orchestra, we have one final song to play for you guys. And this song was a specific request by Concerned Ape himself. Thank you. And we all get up and, you know, we think the show's ending. We all like get up and we give a standing freaking ovation where he's pointing to the violin, the vi violist. He's like, this is going to be our last song. And I think some of you might recognize it. Could you guys guess what the song is? Let me see if any anybody can guess, right? It was Chapstick Girl. Okay. I'm not going to reach out anymore. It was the secret forest theme. I'm like, I mean, I like the secret forest theme. I mean, it's a good song. It's not the last song that you play at the Stardew Valley Orchestra. And also like the, the you know, conductor is like, Concerned Ape said that he would rather be shot in the knee than me not play this song. I was like, okay, that's kind of weird. All right, sure. So they play Secret Forest and they all leave the stage. We're like, all right, well, okay, cool. Everyone gives like a standing ovation. I was like, that was like a weird song to end on, but like I had a great time. That was amazing. The, the guy comes back and he's like, do you mind if we play two more songs for you? I'm like, dude, this is a theater of Stardew Valley fans. What what else do they have to do? They have th this is th this is the only thing they have this entire month to do, man. <laughs> oh, do you guys want to get out early, brother? No, they want to stay and hear about what the homework's gonna be, man. So everyone's like, yes, play another song. So they play the Night Market theme, which I love. That's a great song. And then they do the actual final song, which this actually made sense to me because I thought they were gonna. Like, I was like, they should end on Moonlight Jellies. They ended on a Golden Star is Born. I actually did cry during this part. It was beautiful. It was moving. It was incredible. It was phenomenal. It was really, really well done. I I cried. I, I don't know what more I can say. So I suck my tears back up and we go outside. Um, And I'm outside and I am me, Tuesday, Liss, and uh, her partner. The four of us are all talking. We're, chat we're chatting, having a laugh. You know, we were in no real rush, whatever. We we're talking. We're talking, um, I got to meet a couple more of you lovely folks. That was awesome. Um, shout out to Sean with the broken arm if you're watching this. Uh, me and Tuesday, I forget how it happened. I think me and Tuesday were talking on the side for a second. And Liz comes up to me and she's like, well, if you want, like, 
before we leave, like, your boy is, like, right over there. I'm like, huh? I turn around. There's a freaking meet and greet line for the legend himself, Eric Barone. I'm like, what the hell? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was like, I already got everything I wanted out of this event. I saw him. And, you know, pretty much everybody else had left. So there's maybe like 20, 30 people in line. It was a very, it was like kind of like a low-key thing. So I get in line with uh, Tuesday and Liss and all of them. Tuesday actually asked to be in line. She's like, is your heart going to be broken if he doesn't recognize you? And I was like, no, like not at all. Like I, I, I would be surprised if he even knew who I was. But like he has like said my name before during the Stardew Valley, uh, cup and he has responded to, he responded to one of my tweets once about wombus and then he responded to another one of my tweets about haunted chocolatier so i was like no i wouldn't be offended at all i would be very shocked if he like not not because like oh he's a like oh considered won't remember me it's just like bro he's like you know like he's got he's a he's got a lot of people in his life and you know what i mean like he's got a lot going on i'm sure he doesn't think about you know pe who people are making YouTube videos on his games like that, that was my thought right so we get to the front of the line and Liz and her her partner and her friend to go up there right like I hadn't thought about anything I was just like I can't I was like so happy that this was happening I was like I can't believe this is actually happening right now like I am literally over the moon I can't believe it I that was all I was thinking about we get to the front of the line Tuesday's like so what are you gonna say to him I'm like what and it's like because he's signing everybody's thing right He's signing everybody's stuff. So he's like, so he's going to take time to sign like a thing. It's not like a quick meet and greet photo. You like get in. It's like, he's going to sign it. You're going to have time to talk to him. Like, what are you going to say? I'm like, bro, I didn't even think that. I like, wasn't even think that. I'm like, now I'm like stressed out. I'm wearing freaking a turtleneck and a giant suit jacket. I look like freaking Willy Wonker. I'm like sweating my balls off. I'm like, what the heck am I supposed to say to him? I, I try and launch all these ideas at Tuesday. Everything I said, justifiably so. She was like, that was a, that's a terrible, I did not say that. I was like, what if I just said, you changed my life. And then she was like, that's the corniest thing I ever heard. And I was like, that's true actually, right? So I go up there, right? And I'm walking up, list leaves, I walk up and I haven't even said anything yet. And Concerned Ape goes, oh my God, you came. And I was like, huh and he's like oh my god it's so nice to finally meet you in person i was like oh <laughs> hello i got so nervous i was like oh what? Oh, yeah. Oh my god. I can't I can't it, the show was amazing. It was so good It was it was incredible. It was like the best thing ever all this kind of stuff, right? He's like it's so nice to finally meet you and he's like, oh, did you guys like the show? I'm like, oh, yeah, we loved it. Are you kidding? It was amazing. We were like talking a little bit He honestly like he gave like a lot of compliments to me. He was like he said that me and Tuesday looked great. He was like, he even made some joke that he's like I can't believe I'm meeting Shawnee do or something like that. I was like, bro, this is I'm gonna, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna ascend to heaven right now. This is absurd, right? So dude, uh, we have, like I said, we have these like little dance in the moonlight jelly things. He signs it, right? He's signing everybody's to Concerned Ape. He's drawing a little, uh, star drop. I thought that was awesome. So he was wearing this all access pass around his neck. Bro goes, you know, just for you, I'm the last, I'm the second or like fourth to last person in line. He goes, just for you, bro takes the thing off his neck his all access pass gives it to me and he said and for shawnee do i signed this one eric barone bro signed it in his real ass name like star drop at all i was like i literally I, I don't even know what to say i didn't even know what to say then i was like freaking out i was like this is the best day of my life like this is i can die happy now what the heck this was it was like actually so absurd and then it was funny because like everybody else in the room, I think like started to realize that this was like, like he knew me or something. And like, and now everyone's staring and now I'm like nervous and like concerned even goes, wow, it got all so quiet all of a sudden. I was like, it did. I, I made a pretty good joke to him. I go, oh, so I noticed there was no uh, island songs or desert songs. <laughs> When's the DLC concert coming? He goes, oh yeah, we were talking about that. Bro, what? I was joking. And then I did figure out the question that I was going to ask him. I said, I didn't realize you loved uh, Secret Forest that much. And he's like, or he says, oh, I like it. But like the conductor made out seem like it was my favorite song of all time. Like, I think he, he, he was just playing up the gravitas. Like, I like it. And I said that they should probably play it. But I wasn't like, this is the song of the summer. My favorite song of Stardew Valley. I was like, oh, that puts a lot of things into 
context. So then we pose for a photo. I, I ask him if I can get a photo and he says, gladly. He get we get in the photo and as we're taking the photo, I forget what he said, but he basically said something like uh, something. It was very kind. He was like, we got a, this is like a famous Stardew Valley streamer here. I was like, like almost like let, cause he, there, he had like some guy over like next to him that was like, like checking to see if like people were chill and stuff. I was like, bro, this is crazy. I can't believe you just said that. He like announced it to the whole auditorium. I was like, it was, it was, it was really cool. It was, he was extremely nice. And then I was even like, and do you mind if we get one with Tuesday too? Bro was like, yeah, sure. Then we got another photo, all three of us right there. Boom. I'm looking at the wrong camera. I look like a Tuesday looks phenomenal. I look like a complete jerk. Then we took our photo and I was like, thank you so much for everything. And he was like, N you're welcome. Like, have a good day. And then we left our, we went our ways. It was a literal, it could not have gone better. I, I mean, I can't believe he recognized me at all. Then I said, I said that to Tuesday. She said, you're hard to miss. I said, what does that mean? And then afterwards, I actually, um, we went out and I had a drink with, um, me Tuesday, uh, Liz and a couple of their friends, uh, Cozy Games, if you guys know her, cause her name's Kennedy. She always does the direct. She was there. It was cool. Um, so that was the story, guys. You're my favorite weird-looking YouTuber. I can't believe that still is so the test time. It was really, really cool. It was it was probably like the coolest day of my entire like since this day I started streaming. Like that was the coolest thing that's ever happened to me. I think that's all I got for you guys. I just wanted to tell the story. I thought it was a cool story. So I thought I would share it with you guys.